Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alison, this is So Like Dotty, and well, it's pretty much the end of December, which means it's time for my January sewing plans. So I've been thinking about what I want to make and what I want to do. Um, obviously, if you saw my Friday sews, I was talking about what I am or I'm not doing about make nine this year, so check that out if you haven't already. Um, but I've done a little bit of thinking there might be some other things that get made this month, I don't know, but this is kind of my core of what I would really like to do this month. So there's a couple of new to me patterns and a couple of things that I've made before or one thing I've made before and an adjustment, so I'll talk you through them. And then I would absolutely love it if you drop in the comments what you're planning for January, what your makes are, anything you're trying that's new, or if you've done anything that I'm doing and you've got any tips about downsizing or making any changes, I would absolutely love you to share that with me if you can. So, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Um, well, this isn't the order. This is the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is an alteration. So this is a needle cord which I got from Dots and Stripes at Harrogate. Um, not last year, the year before for the knitting and stitching show. But Nikki did have a little bit left on the roll when she was at Harrogate when I was talking to her. Um, so you can check it out on the website. I have seen it somewhere else. I can't remember where though. Mm, can't remember might have been beyond the pink door anyway i'm jumping so this is a needle cord it's such a pretty fabric um and i made the dixie dress by the dressmaker's closet then i took the collar off it but the bottom line is it's too big so i have excuse the ruffling but i've got rustling but i've got to show you this so this is my bag of things that's too big there's quite a bit in there. So some of it is, is, are things that I'm going to alter sort of as we move into springtime. But this is cord. So I thought this needs to be an alteration and it's going to be a totally different dress. I am revisiting an old favourite. Which one do you think it might be? Yeah, I'm going to do the titty and the buttons indigo, but I need to check my sizing in it. It's an absolute favourite of mine. So I figured that... The skirt part of this, which has a ruffle on, will be... Has it got a ruffle? No, it doesn't have a ruffle, but that's fine. Will be pretty much easy to go. I can just alter this to be the skirt part of this. It doesn't have... Does it have pockets? I'm talking to myself and checking it out. No, it doesn't, because I'm not a big pocket fan. Um, so I should just be able to alter this, sort of size this down to fit. And um, I'll just do the long sleeve version which is this one here just with the regular cuff that would be my preferred version in that so i'm just going to do a standard sleeve in it i think that should fit fine i have got some more of this fabric i got another meter i think so that should allow me i might be able to reuse these sleeves which would be great if I did. Um, I think I'll be able to recut them to fit, or I don't even mind if it has a bit of a gathered sleeve because I've done that before. I've used the Sagebrush top from Rider Pattern Company, used their sleeves in it before. So I think I'll probably aim to reuse the sleeves. I've only worn it maybe two or three times. Um, and then I'll use the new fabric to cut the bodice out. Um, and so I think that'll be a quick sort of adjustment or alteration for this so i might just chuck that in the wash give it a little freshen up i might i'm sure the fabric's been washed but i might put that in as well so i'll chuck that over there so yeah i'm ready to make something in a woven fabric i feel like all i did in december was jersey you'll be sick of the sight of that and i'm getting a bit sick of the sight of it this is my jersey dress one of the um pepper magazine ones that i love and i do have some pink sparkle wool knit fabric that I was thinking, i think oh i'd really like that but i thought you know what at the moment, I feel like I've got enough jumper dresses for this year. So why don't I put that away for next year? I'll be going on my shelf so I can see it and I can use that. So, new to me pattern that I do want to make this year is the Helen's Closet Jackson. Um, and I'm going to make that finally as a hoodie in this fabric that I shared in December. So this was like a late December purchase from First for Fabric. So it's a denim um, jersey with this like... I call it a fur back and it's oh god lovely um but 
I want to do a bit of a sort of a twirl in it because I've not made anything from Helen's closet before. If you've made this, I'd like your opinion. Did you need to size down? Because some people have said to me, you definitely need to size down by one size. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing, because I want to do that fabric with the hood extension um, on it, which is this part here. So you can buy the extension pack to go along with that so you don't have to have it if you don't want to but I've got both but I've also got this fabric which I've worn a lot this was a um, first for fabrics fabric last winter um, and it's a jersey and I fancy twirling at least the bodice for fit in this and I'm thinking out of the skirt part of this I should have quite a lot that I can do for that and then I can probably wear this like around the house with leggings and stuff like like that I think there'll be enough here to get the sleeves out of it there are sleeves in this already um which are a long sleeve I don't mind if they're a little bit shorter or um but yeah I'm just gonna play around with it but I definitely want to try the sort of the bodice part of it out for fit and um, for th for this one I'd probably like that a little bit cropped so I can start to wear it over dresses I'd like to be wearing my woven dresses more as well pop that over the top and um, so that's what I'm thinking with the final version but this will give me a good marker of if I want to make it cropped where will I finish it etc that kind of thing although I do have that already worked out on the Tilly and the Buttons Billy jumper but i'd like to mark it up on this pattern so again reusing something it's freshly washed i can still smell it, the um the washing liquid on it um and i figure that's a good way of using that fabric up rather than buying some more to twirl it with um so yeah i'm good to go i've got loads of black ribbing to go with that um and i've got to say i probably won't put the kangaroo pocket on well I won't put it on with the twirl and I probably won't put it on with the final one because it's going to be a crop version anyway um, but I'm not a pocket fan I know what can I say um, so yeah I think that's quite a sensible what's going on I'm quite sensible I haven't put myself on a fabric ban what we're doing is well what I'm doing I've decided is having a um, oh, what's it called there's a there's a proper name for it it's probably a bit of a trend but it's like a don't spend unless you need to month you can do them at any time a lot of people did them in november i think so <laughs> i said to gal it doesn't start officially till january the first but i'm not on the internet going what can i buy before that there are absolutely shed loads of sales out there the only thing that i might do i know liberty has a sale on at the moment but there's not very much off the tunnel on and things right now a couple of pound a meter which isn't that much um but in my liberty beauty drop account i've got a hundred pound credit so the only way i might spend any money on fabric is that if there's a bigger sale on that in january which i think there was last year then i might buy some liberty fabric from that but it's obviously that's like as if it's been saved up rather than um coming out my bank account i just think you spend a lot don't you in december we feel like we've spent a fortune um so it i think it's quite interesting in january we're not we're not so fussed about eating now we are going out for afternoon tea today but we were meant to do that on christmas eve so we're doing it today on new year's eve instead but that's still december but we ate out loads in december so we don't really want to eat out we don't particularly need takeaways i need to get my gluten-free and dairy-free back under control because I feel like I've just had some extras that aren't great for me and yeah so it'll be quite nice not having Amazon delivering something practically every day and um, I've also started doing my own gel nails again so I've been doing a little bit of nail art at the end of last week so I did all my nails in this sort of pink here like this and some were plain but then I've been practicing so what do you think I've put dots up this one and then I've done this one this one's not so straight the other fingers better like half and half and then I've put spots on this one so I have bought a new lamp for me and my daughter one that you can get your whole hand in some new gels because mine were a bit out of date but like that's pretty much cost the price of 
like I was selling treatments for one month anyway. And it was bought in December, so technically it doesn't count. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that because obviously that's a different pattern. Um, I think that'll be really nice. And that hoodie will go really nicely with that cord as well if I do want to just pull something over it because it's quite cold in the office at work. Although for the next few months, I'll only be in the office one day a week because from now, da -da 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 -da, I'm now working three days a week in my HR job and one day a week in my slim world job so i'm going to be off on a monday and a tuesday so i'm hoping to get a bit more um organized with my sewing and my recording and a bit more of a routine around that i'm so excited okay what's next so i bought this pattern in december and shared it with you lots of you said you've made it or you've got the pattern and things so it is the merchant and mills margo which is a pinafore dress quite a long pinafore dress and i'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this as well and um, so i mentioned it before and um, i don't need the jeans buttons because i've got loads of um sort of metal buttons that i can sew on out of my vintage jars of buttons that i've got i don't think i'll ever need to buy another button in my life i got this cord at harrogate this year from dots and stripes again i'll drop a link to nikki's website in i if if i'm ever talking about something there'll always be a link so if i can find fabrics if they're still available i'll share a link to those fabrics otherwise i'll share a link to their site she had loads and loads of needle cord um, and i got this one so like a nice royal blue so there's a bit of a blue theme isn't there i might have to have blue nails to match in january um so that is new to me so i need to work out my measurements which size i'm going to do etc so i kind of do like that process of getting into something new and um, what will it be like i have made the tilly and the buttons clinic cleo penny for in the past it's a bit shorter than this i think this might be a little bit sort of looser fitting but i've got lots of fitted t-shirt tops that i've made which i think will look really nice under this as well so um thank you to granny linda sewing who rocked up at sewtoon wearing this and i was like i'm having a bit of that i'm gonna buy that pattern um so yeah i think that'll look rather jolly nice what do you think so where am i up to one alteration slash remake one twirl one hoodie one pinafore and it's more than I thought really for January but you know we're getting there then I've got this purple mm, is it called a mal fabric I can't remember I got it from pound fabrics a little while ago it was cheap as chips like three pounds something a meter and I've got four meters of it I think I think it's a little bit thin to wear as a dress you can see through it as you can see so what I'm thinking might be quite nice in that is to make the sort over it lounge, well, it's pyjamas, but I'm calling it lounge loungewear. So this is it, the Imogen pyjamas, which I made at the end of December when the pattern was launched because I'm a pattern insider for so over it. So I made this top before um, and made this in a different colour, but I think I'm going to make this top, but I'm not going to put the button placket on. I'm just going to do it with a round neck but it's slightly sort of more fitted and i'm going to do the bottoms probably without the cuff but i might put a cuff on i don't know um i'll see how it looks when it finish when it's finished so that should be it well it is a quick easy make most of it will be overlockered but i think it'd be quite nice in these i've got plenty of cardigans i can put on over the top i don't need them as pajamas i prefer a shorter sleeve as pajamas so the original set of these that i made with long sleeves i'm actually wearing that more as loungewear so sort of tonight when i'm finished recording i'll um wash my face well won't wash i'll cleanse my face with my balm and then do my double cleanse do all my skincare and then i'll put a lounge lounge wear on when did another source of like area of clothing get invented called lounge wear i don't know and I, I fought it for a while but actually truth be told i don't know about the rest of you but my bra's off and my loungy stuff is on as soon as possible and um, so happy days so it's kind of a well it's purple it's not blue but you know what I'm not going to be going out the house in it because it's loungewear and the final thing that you know has been made and cut 
it was cut just before Christmas and I was hoping to maybe get a start of it in between Christmas and New Year but in reality I was back at work so it didn't happen is the Vinnie that I've been talking about for ages the Fibre Move Bomber Jacket which I am making cropped I've cut it four inches shorter than the pattern but it is here it is cut out in all of its glory da 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 so um I've put the link onto the fabric before but I will try to find it and pop it back on again so that's waterproof so we'll see how we get on with that with the with doing it four inches shorter I need to decide what I'm doing about the fastenings I'm not decided yet I'm just going to try and like get it made up and then see what I want to do with that I'll be honest I, I probably won't ever zip it up anyway so I, I don't really mind if I just get it made and it's open which probably defeats the point of having waterproof fabric really but hey ho um or I might put a zip in when it's finished and I can buy one that actually fits it or I might put some buttons on it I don't know I'm being very chilled out about it so that is my January plans so I think that's it's enough I don't stress if it doesn't all happen um, I'm quite chilled but with having the extra time off although I have got um, I do need to do my tax return and I will be doing some um, promotional work for my Slim World group but I do feel like I'm going to have a bit more time and structure to do that so pray to the sewing gods that I get that all done and I will keep you posted so yeah as I said earlier drop in the chat let me know what you're up to what you're making what your January plans are and I'll look forward to reading those and chatting as ever with you in the comments. So take care and I will be back with you on Friday for an update and let's see how it's going. Bye for now.